fair use disclaimer. The copyright laws of the United States recognizes a fair use of copyright content. Section 107 of the United States Copyright Act states, notwithstanding the provisions of sections 106 and 106A, the fair use of a copyrighted work, including such use by reproduction in copies or phone records or by any other means specified by that section for purposes such as criticism, comments, news, reporting, teaching, including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarships, or research is not an infringement of copyright. This video and YouTube channel in general may contain copyrighted works that were not specifically authorized to be used by the copyright holders, but which we believe in good faith are protected by federal law and the fair use doctrine for one or more of the reasons noted above. <laughs>
He's going to take my worship. And let me tell you the crazy thing in this whole situation. Y'all should see my fucking face. And I still got joy. I don't even care at this point. Whoever want to get mad at me can get mad at me. Y'all got to stop. First of all, let me tell you about this ghetto, disgusting gutter butt. I don't even want to call her a girl. First of all, she's trash. She should have never been at my show. So she come to Tamar concert, which I planned, and I will say that, um, drunk with a thousand people, smelling like weed, looking dumb, okay? And so she, apparently she makes music. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? And apparently she wanted to drop a beat. So she was mad that she didn't get to perform. I didn't know she was a performer. And even if I did know she was a performer, she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to make. So she caught, first of all, y'all see the video. She was up there, a drunk fool. Okay. She, she Cardi took your man upset because she didn't get to perform. So Again, y'all saw her show her dumb ass during Love and War. She ruined the song. She ruined the concert. She ruined the moment. So then she go backstage and she is upset, okay? Because she didn't get to perform her ringtone. So she storms in Tamar's dressing room with a thousand people, okay? And everybody's like, nobody knew you were supposed to perform a song. We didn't even know that you made music. We thought you was on Zeus. Right? So everybody's trying to calm her down. She's in there, rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon, right? So then James is like, oh, it wasn't on purpose. Like, nobody tried to, like, shade you. We we didn't know that you were supposed to sing. She like, lie again. Lie again. And James like, no, nobody knew. And she hit James right in his face, chipped James' tooth. James' face is bloody. James is at the hospital now because his nose will not stop bleeding. She's going to prison. And I promise you, and we can cancel all this shit right now. You don't come to nobody's show. Everybody has worked their mother, uh, worked their behind off to make this tour amazing. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have a lot of help. So never will I ever let anyone get away coming to anything that anybody I know and care about plan and work hard for and assault them, and I'm letting it go. So I want everybody to let Croissant know, Croissant, whoever she is and whatever she does, I'm coming for every coin she has. And y'all know me, I'm not going to stop. I can't stop, won't stop Rockefeller Records. You do not come to my show and assault people that are working on my show. Okay, I might not have sang Love and War, but I'm the only reason everybody now. He's not gay, but he like, whatever, he like boys. But I was supposed to perform, and that was that. Uh, so the more famous I get, the more tricky this shit get. Like, usually when I get invited out to perform at a show, I'll let you say it. Like, oh, yeah, okay, you're going to perform after this set, blah, blah. Like, Sexy Red, Glorilla, like, not like that, but... I've been brought out before and I know how it goes a certain way. Um, I did have my team there, uh, but it wasn't like we was in her room together. I went alone and stuff. So, uh, yeah, y'all saw how I was on live. I was by myself. I wasn't with my team. My team was outside waiting, just waiting till, I don't know, it was time to work, you know? So... That's what that happened. All this other false narrative saying this happened. She did that. I don't know what that. I don't know. I think it's just a clout chasing thing. So. Honestly, I have to start protecting my name when I. I don't know. I don't know how you step in situations like that. So um, it had nothing to do with Tamar. Uh, it was some other. Like, the guy that's talking, talking about how he put it together. He didn't put anything together, and I never talked to him. Um, I directly talked to Tamar. She communicated that I could come out, and that was that. Uh, I don't know who that guy is because I never talked to him. The guy that got that he's not gay, but he like whatever. He like boys. Him. I don't know how you say. I don't want to be rude, like, cause I'm not on this. I don't know what's going on and why popping it like. I'm not just a female, like, and the clout chasing shit is kind of, uh, is getting out of hand, so, 
But no, nah, it was nothing between me and Tamar. I had nothing to do with any of that. But I don't know who's... I don't know. It was just like wicked stuff started happening. And then... I don't know. And then I let that go. I went... Nigga, I went to a party. Went back home to my kid. Nigga. But like... I don't... I had fun. What I don't get is... The storytelling... Like, why everybody storytelling? Y'all got all the videos of us cheering, praying. Pr post y'all was posted that. Post the that y'all talking about because everything is recorded and documented. So not I'm telling y'all what happened. I would take accountability of what happened. I had fun. That's what the.